Hello, my friends. It's Lissa from Embellish in Watertown, Wisconsin, and I am having a ball today with these tiny Tabasco party favors. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest thing? They're so adorable, aren't they? And before you ask where I got them, I ordered them off Amazon. <laughs> That was the number one question I got for these is where do you get those? And you can order them in, you know, like a case of 400 or whatever, but you can also order them in 12s or I think I got 48 when I ordered, but they are so perfect either for party favors or just as an I love you for use with the Stampin' Up! set Taco Fiesta, which is one of my favorite sets. If you look on the blog, you will see lots of cards made with Taco Fiesta. And um, it's just so cute. It's got some peppers that we're going to use in this project. And then I used the tailored tags dies and cut out two cute little um, tags for the front. So we have these and the cardstock color is Poppy Parade. And then we made a scored piece for the inside box. And that took me a while to get the measurements. So I will make sure that you have those measurements too, because you want it to be um, obviously loose enough to get in and out, but not slip out either. So this is the best of both worlds because it's securely in there and the tag or the twine ties it shut so it, it can't fall out. Love that. You spice up my life. So fun. So let's make it, huh? Um, so like I said, you're going to need some tags and those are going to have to be stamped and I'm going to stamp them with a large pepper. Let me actually a piece here to protect my table. And I'm just going to stamp the peppers randomly on there just to break up the red. You could skip this step if you have to make a bunch, like you're making wedding favors or something. You could totally skip this step where you stamp the, the cardstock. Okay. So that was Poppy Parade ink on Poppy Parade paper. And then I've got the You Spice Up My Life sentiment, which I'm stamping in black. And I'm using Tuxedo Black ink because I'm going to use markers to color these little tiny pepper images. That I'm adding to the tag. So they just fit. What red do I have here? Oh, Poppy Parade. Coloring these itty bitty peppers with the fine point end of the blends marker. And then the itty bitty pepper stems with Old Olive. Super cute. And then just for some accent, I added a little shadow of the green underneath the peppers. Just felt like it needed a little something else there. All right. So cute. So now we've got the outside of our box and we've got the tag. Now we need to make the box. So I'm going to share the measurements because this was a tricky little piece. So this is also Poppy Parade, but you could make it a different color if you didn't mind if the different color showed in there. And it is three and three quarters by two inches. So that's not tricky. Three and three quarters by two inches. And then you score every three quarters of an inch. So three quarters, one and a half, two and a quarter, and three. All right, I'll cover that one more time so you can write it down. So the, the piece itself is two inches by three and three quarters, and you're going to score at three quarters, one and a half, two and one quarter, and three. And then you flip it to one side, and these, this will be the bottom of the box, and it just gets scored at a half an inch. All right. Then you guys know how to make a box. You just trim those 
up to the score line. And fold on the scores. The last little panel becomes the flap to secure the box together. And I used, although I can't see it right this second. Huh. I just had it. Looking for my tear and tape. Wow. Oh, it's right in front of me. Never mind. <laughs> So I'm going to use tear and tape, but you could also use any sort of liquid glue. And I just love how easy it is. It doesn't take scissors to cut this tape. You just put the, um, just rip it. So we're putting that flap together to make our little box. And then we're going to fold in all those pieces. make the box bottom with a little piece of tear and tape on that as well tuck those little ends in there and then just to make sure that that really stuck there I'm gonna push my finger in from the inside you could also use the Tabasco bottle itself to push that down and make sure that that really adhered. <gasps> Super cute, huh? All right, and then you put tear and tape on two sides of the box, two opposite sides. Feel that backing off and center a tag on there with the open end of the tag or the um, the twine end of the tag pointing up and then do the same thing on the back side and what these tags are doing is um, giving the little box some more presence making it a little bit larger so it it can be that tiny I mean that is Tabasco in a box right but that's not very exciting presentation. So we have upped up the presentation factor by adding these big uh, panels to the box. All right, our tag is ready, our box is ready. We just need some twine. And again, to kind of up the presentation factor, I'm going to double the twine so that it has about double the impact. sorry that's really close all you can see is my hand I apologize <laughs> and there we go thread that through the tags tie it snugly enough that it, the uh, Tabasco bottle won't slip out oops and before you tie the bow <laughs> it's happened to me last time too be sure to tuck the tag on at least one of the strands. Now I gotta get my bow back together here. There we go. And don't don't pull it too tight because it could just rip right through the cardstock. But if you're using good quality cardstock, it won't it won't do that. Okay, looks like I should have cut my twine just a hair longer because I wanted to have some longer tails on it, but it does work. There you go. Cute as can be. I have two party favors for my taco fiesta. <laughs> so there it is, made possible by Stampin' Up's Taco Fiesta stamp set and Tabasco for making these cute adorable tiny little tabasco bottles i hope you enjoyed this project i would love it if you'd give it a thumbs up and share um just to get the word out there on social media i would appreciate it so much if you need stampin up my um, shopping link is lissa.stampinup.net and if you can just double check right before you check out that you're shopping with me and not um, it hasn't been transferred to another demonstrator. I've been having trouble with that lately and uh, people think they're shopping with me and they're actually shopping with somebody else by the time they get checked out. So if you can double check that, I would appreciate it. All right. 
Have a good afternoon.